I'm a veteran, a business owner, an NRA member, and a Christian. What's protected all of these is being an American. I believe that all of our freedoms are connected. If one right is diminished, every right is diminished. If one freedom falls, all freedoms will fall. It's important that we understand how we got to the point where we are today. With our iPhones, TVs, cars, and freedom to choose whatever profession we desire. It's because of the rights that have been put into place throughout our history. Improvements can always be made, but we cannot crumble the very foundation that it was all built upon. Instead of accepting these truths about our freedoms, the media, talk show hosts, and anti-gun celebrities have chosen to radicalize against anyone they disagree with. Their goal has always been to erase American history and values that doesn't fit their narrative. And because we believe in the right to protecting ourselves, and they want to destroy our Second Amendment, they've weaponized the First Amendment, attacking our character, and try to censor our communication. I see these radicalized tactics and straight-up propaganda used every time I draw my real-world combat experience to educate my fellow Americans about the very real threats that we all face. Every time I do, the media accuses me of fear-mongering. You either embrace reality as it is, or live in a fantasy land. There is no in-between anymore. I've discussed a lot of subjects on my videos that didn't have anything to do with guns, but they had everything to do with keeping America strong. The media even questioned my freedom of speech and asked, what if gun rights have anything to do with the national anthem? When I talked about why NRA members proudly stand and respect our American flag, the same media that forcefully defended protest against our flag as a First Amendment right. No, we don't just fight for our Second Amendment. We fight for our flag, we fight for our gun rights, we fight for free speech, we fight for our freedom of religion, we fight for our American values, and we fight to keep America the greatest nation ever known to man. And we're gonna continue to keep fighting because we aren't limited to exercising just one of our freedoms. They've all been given to us by God and generations of disciplined men and women that sacrificed in one way or another by doing what is difficult, honor, duty, and service. All of our freedoms are connected. If one fails, they all fail.